I am Dr. Anurag Agrawal and today we will talk about ganglion impar block. Ganglion impar is a solitary ganglion formed by the fusion of right and left sympathetic chains. Indications for ganglion impar blockade are based on the anatomical location of pain and include perineal pain with or without malignancies, rectal or anal pain, distal urethral pains, vulvodynias, female pelvic or vaginal pains, chronic prostatitis, coctalgia fugex and coccidinia. There are two approaches for the ganglion impar block. One is the conventional approach where using a curved needle we go through the tip of the coccyx and reach the anterior sacrococcygeal junction behind the rectum. The other approach is the transsacrococcygeal approach where using a straight 22 gauge needle we go through the transdiscal route and reach the ganglion impar. This video shows the conventional approach of ganglion impar block. Once the angiocatheter is in optimal position, remove the needle from the angiocatheter and replace it with the 20 gauge blunt curved nerve block needle. Again, verify with fluoroscopy that the needle is anterior to the coccyx and not in the rectum. Attach the contrast syringe to the needle using an IV T-connector piece. Inject contrast while viewing its spread under fluoroscopy. Reposition if necessary to allow free flow of contrast. Although the lateral fluoroscopic view is the best view to verify correct needle placement, an anterior posterior view is taken to observe the lateral spread of contrast. As the coccyx is difficult to see in this view, arrows outline the lateral edges of the coccyx. Remove the contrast syringe and attach the medication syringe. After medication has been injected, remove the needle and angiocatheter. Clean the site and dress it with a sterile bandage. The ganglion impar block is a very safe procedure and complications are rare. Like any other interventional pain procedure, we have to monitor the patient for hemodynamic stability and discharge the patient when the anesthesia criteria to ambulate is met. Patient should apply cold compresses if there is pain and soreness at the perineum and injection site and should document the onset and duration of pain relief.